তোর নামে কি আছে মিসি মিসি In 2016, a five-year-old Afghan kid stole the hearts of football fans posing for a picture with a homemade Messi shirt made out of a plastic bag. Murtaza Hamadi got his wish of meeting Messi himself, but ever since, his life has been hell. This is the tragic story of the little Afghan Messi, Murtaza Hamadi. Murtaza's brother couldn't have known what would happen when he took a photograph of his kid brother and uploaded it to Facebook. In it, little Murtaza was playing football in the snow with a strange jersey in the colors of Argentina that read, Messi. Upon closer inspection, the truth moved everyone. It was a plastic bag from the groceries, which Murtaza had turned into his idol's jersey. The image went so viral, it reached Leo Messi himself who contacted UNICEF to send his Afghan fan a much-deserved gift. An FC Barcelona and Argentina kit and a ball, all signed by him. The five-year-old was living his dream, but he wasn't done yet. What started as an unachievable dream for an Afghan kid from the small village of Shiguri became a reality. By the end of 2016, Barcelona played a friendly match in Qatar and Murtaza was the guest of honor. Acting as a mascot, he met Messi in the tunnel, hugged him and never let go. Murtaza followed Messi around, who even had to tell him to go back to his dad so the match could start. We were all moved and laughed with the images of little Murtaza, but in truth, he was desperate for Messi to help him. Ever since receiving the attention and the gifts from the football star, things took a tragic turn in his hometown. This is where the problems began. People believed that Messi had sent a large amount of money to the Hamadi family. The Taliban threatened to capture the entire family. The Taliban regime that is now seizing control of Afghanistan didn't like the attention young Murtaza was receiving. The threats were constant. Murtaza had to stop going to school or playing football outside. Murtaza's father seems to understand why this happened. When I first saw the boxes, I thought one of them would have toys for Murtaza and the other dollars. But no, a ball and a shirt. As cold as this might sound, it's a cultural difference. In Afghanistan, donations are key to the economy of the country. If someone is in touch with a foreigner, they usually receive economic support. The threat to Murtaza was so big that the family fled to Pakistan and filed an asylum request. Their request was rejected. They had to go back to Shaguri. There, life was so dangerous. When Murtaza met Messi in Dona, he told him, take me with you, there are only bombs here. But the communication was impossible, as neither understood each other's language. Murtaza's father, once more, was disappointed. He believed Messi could have done more for him. We thought that by going to Doha to meet Messi, he would maybe do like Ronaldo. We went to Doha so that Messi could do something for him, but he did nothing for Murtaza. Ronaldo's kindness to a Syrian and Lebanese refugee led Murtaza's father to believe he had played a role in either getting them asylum or donating a lot of money, but this wasn't the case. In the middle of it all was little Murtaza, who couldn't go to school, outside to play, and wasn't safe at all. A decision was made and Murtaza was sent to live with his uncle in Kabul, the capital city of Afghanistan. Now, the Taliban have taken control of Kabul, with the government's leaders deposed and U.S. troops evacuating the country. The images we are seeing are horrific. Bleacher Report interviewed the Hamadi family back in January of 2021. 
His father was still trying to seek asylum for him and his family, and Murtaza's life was a solitary one. Before he went to Qatar, he was such a happy boy. He used to talk to everyone and was mischievous. Now he doesn't talk a lot. This kind of situation in other countries could be an opportunity. For us, it was a threat. Murtaza was able to rejoin his family in Shiguri months ago. He says he still loves Messi and wouldn't change a thing about what happened. At Oh My Goal, we hope this story can be shared once more, so Murtaza's struggle is seen. While we can't change much in his life, we can certainly help Afghan kids in need. Below, you will find links to where you can make a donation.